Today, I just bought my most terminally ill fan his replacement heart. Oh my god. Is that Mr. Beast? This kid looks sick as heck, dude. Bruh. Do you want a heart to save your life? Or do you want a Mr. Beast rap Tesla? I would literally kill myself for a Tesla. Good boy. Now, you have to search these hundred coolers filled with human hearts to find the Tesla key. Man, I wish I was terminally ill. Your boy be driving a Ford Explorer. Bruh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this guy should be doing this. He looks really sick, Jimmy. Man, I'm looking to play some Among Us with my boys. Nope. All right, dying guy, you got about 20 more seconds to find the key. Oh, what seems to be going on in here? Oh my god, it's Mr. Beast! Oh, I've been a fan since 1 million subs. Oh, man, this is awesome. Always great to hear. Here's $5,000, and we just planted 2,000 trees outside of Liberty, Missouri, in your name. Thanks for being a fan. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh. Uh, I got it. I got the Tesla key. Oh, congrats <laughs> on your new car. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to get a new heart, and you're still on track to die in about two weeks. But don't worry. We will be planting 2,000 trees outside of Liberty, Missouri in your name. Also, we'll be planting 1,000 trees for every million views this video gets. So please share, like, and comment, and rewatch this so we can keep this brave man's legacy alive. Well, I have a, a donor coming out of state to bring me a new heart in a few days, so I think I should recover, okay? Bruh. Today, I just bought this entire hospital. Breaking news! Reportedly, James Corden will replace Ellen DeGeneres on her own show! This is, of course, in light of the recent news of Ellen and her staff's misconducts with guests and new hires. The network has decided to replace Ellen with another lesbian icon, and James Corden was at the top of the list. When reaching out to Ellen for a comment on the issue, reporters were shocked to find Ellen's studio empty and only a note which read from Jeremiah 112. Then the Lord said, You have observed correctly. This means I'm watching to make sure my threats are carried out. Ellen has been missing ever since the news broke out about her misconducts. Better watch out, James Corden. This could be trouble. Oi, Justin Bieber. Thank you so much for helping me get to work today. Yeah, no problem. Do you mind if we listen to some music? Fuck off, fatty. All right then, off we go to sing some of your very popular songs. Girl, you got that yummy, 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 Girl, you got your baby, yeah, 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 baby, you see, Justin, Justin, hold on. You see, Justin, the problem with this song is that we can't clearly tell if you're talking about fish and chips minge or a stinky arsehole, right? Just be up front with the fans, Justin. Do you want a fish and chips minge or are you looking for an extra layer of stink on your pickle? Which do you like more, Justin Bieber? What is more yummy to you? I don't know. <laughs> They both ate. <laughs> oh, brilliant, isn't it? I need any piece of stinky slop thrown in front of me, Justin Bieber. That's for true. Go, you got that yummy, 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 yummy,
that they do. Yeah. It be Ellen DeGeneres, the goddamn demon of Hollywood. Oh, for God's sake, Justin, she's speaking in tongues. That be the devil's tune. She's got a hold of me with her leathery talons, Justin. I don't want to die. Help me. Give us a wink. Free me from this demon's hold, Justin Bieber. Yeah, you got that yummy, yummy, yummy. You got that yummy, yum. You, you, you. James Corden was brutally abducted yesterday evening by Ellen DeGeneres in retaliation to supposed rumors. The whereabouts of Ellen are currently unknown. May her wrathful vengeance be swift and merciful. It's hard losing weight. It's an everyday struggle. You will always tell yourself, I'll start tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow. But you have to take action to make change. This time I can change. I know I can. Forgetting can't. something, Joshua? No, Tony. I don't think so. Hmm. What about your cereal? You always start the day with a bowl of cereal. Hmm, well, not anymore. I'm gonna change, Tony. Change for the better. No, 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 no. Come on, Joshua. You don't mean that here. Here, come here. Come on. You don't want to eat that fruit. You want this sweet treat. So yummy and delicious. Here, come here. Come on. Here. Who's your, uh... Who's your tiger? <laughs> you are. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> now, who's my little piggy, huh? Who's my little piggy? I am. Yes, that's right. That is, uh, that's right. Yeah, come here, look at this. Come on. They're great. There you go. There you go. Bring it up to those luscious lips. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never change. I'm a failure. Oh, no, no, Joshua, come on, don't cry. It's hard losing weight. It really is an everyday challenge, but it's okay. I can always start tomorrow. You look cute when you eat those fries. Now go ahead. Get a taste of that Big Mac. It's really good. Come on in. The water's just fine. Oh, come on, I won't bite. At least not that hard. Hmm. You still haven't tried your Big Mac. Is something wrong? I'd hate to see you go home hungry. Our bathrooms are very clean. Hmm. You look like you have to take a tinkle. Go on. Take a couple trips. I got a 93 Toyota Paseo in the parking lot. Let's get out of here. I used to like Logic. You know, the rapper. Yeah, but the needle dropper views him so poorly, I, I just don't really care for his music now. Well, this is my pad. It ain't much, but I certainly call it home. You look pretty thirsty. Here, have some water. Here you go, sweetie. Try the Big Mac. 
Was it me? Don't you want to know how succulent it can taste? How beautiful life can really be? Don't be afraid. When you come to your senses, I'll bring you back up. Be easy with him now. We really need him to try this big man. Hmm, princess. I have come to take you away to be my bride. Finn, Jake, what are you doing? He can't bother you anymore, princess. There's gonna be some changes! I will no longer let the wicked run through this land without punishment! Blood will fall from the heavens! Angels will praise the swings of my blade! God will applaud the screams of all of my victims! Come along with me. And the butterflies. And bees. Look into my eyes, princess. I am the judge, and the executioner. Another beautiful day at the Krusty Krab. Another day servicing the masses. Oh, Spongebob. They can't get enough. They want more. More of that secret formula. Oh, that smells good, doesn't it, Mr. Krabs? Aye, it do, Mr. Squidward. It do. Sponge me, boy. Maybe a bit more of that secret formula. Is that good, Mr. Krabs? Is that how you like it? Aye. That's how old Mr. Krabs wants it, but... The salty dog wants even more. Can you feel that? Oh, God. I can feel it, Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is dipping his hand in the old honey jar, isn't he? <laughs> you can take as much as you want, Mr. Krabs. Oh, don't leave me out. I need you, SpongeBob. Go on and get yourself a handful. <laughs> The secret formula. Oh, oh my word. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. Flavor. Take it. I need more flavor. Oh, take it all. Oh, let me get a piece take of all the secret formula. Oh, take all of the secret formula. Was that good for you? Did I satisfy you all? I, you did me, boy. But you're all used up. Drained me, lad. Our hunger is satiated for now. But we'll be back. I love my job at the Krusty Krab. I wouldn't change it for anything in the whole world. I make people happy. I fulfill their needs. Frankly, I don't think I could stop even if I wanted to. But who would want to stop when people love what you do this much?
I always forgot how beautiful it can be up here at night. You sure is right about that, Lightning McQueen. Sometimes, it feels like we're the only two people in the world that know about this spot. Funny you should say that, because I saw a train on my way up here today. Well, trains are pretty common around these parts. I mean, there's tracks everywhere. Well, it was downright strange. It wasn't like no train i would never seen before. Was it blue? Like a mystical blue. Almost as if the train had become one with the air around it. Whoa, oh, yes! Yeah, I couldn't have said it any better myself, Lightning. Man, that's exactly what it looked like. When I had that wreck a while back. Oh boy, I remember. We all didn't think you were gonna make it out alive. That's pretty weird. When I had the wreck, I... I had such an odd dream. It was a strange feeling. It was a place I've never seen before, but... felt as if I'd spent a lifetime there. The only resemblance from the normal world was the sound of a train coming my way. I felt fear more than anything. Though it was the sound of a train, it felt like a thunderstorm. Like an earthquake was going to destroy the ground around me. And I would fall into a sea of nothingness. All I could do was anxiously hold my breath and brace for impact. But the impact never came. Instead, a smiling face appeared, melting from the darkness. Pale and cold, screeched forward on its tracks, only to stop right in front of me. It was as if I'd never spoken a single word in my life. I, I couldn't conjure a single sentence to say to him. But the train finally spoke. And I can still hear his voice in my mind. I have seen past the farthest star. And I have gone to the edges of the earth. I asked back to him, what of life after death? What of the paradises that await me in heaven above? The train did not look to me. It didn't make a single sound. Through all the steam and moving parts controlling this demonic vessel, its only reply was, Drain your woes. Your God has turned his back on you. That's why my tracks still push me forward. My body was afraid. Something new and unknown. May it be death? May it be hardship? Suddenly I woke from this nightmare. Wow. I tell you what, that's downright horrifying. Well, I haven't really slept well since then. Oh, come on, Lightning. It's just a train. Nothing to be afraid of out here. <laughs> I know you're right. There's nothing to be afraid of now. Hey, guys! I'm the cat in the
the hat and I'm here today to show you a good time while your mother's away. Check this out! Wow, look at us! We're having such a fun time! Oh, that's their grandfather's ashes! Put that down this instant! And who might you be, you little fucking fish bastard? You little fishy cunt? Who might you be, my little fishy fuck? Fucky fuckies fucking suck? I'm gonna fucking suck the fish! I'm gonna put the fish in my cock hole. Well, I'm the family fish, you see. Now, I watch over... <laughs> A magic trick. Let's watch all of your mom's most precious possessions disappear! Breaking news tonight from Anvil, where a series of break-ins have been sweeping suburban neighborhoods. Subject has appeared to be a six foot three anamorphic black cat with a large red hat and bow tie. Reports are saying that the subject is known to blend in with crowds and that many should stay indoors. Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, she's home. Okay, come on, fellas. It's time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Don't forget the next time you're bored, your good buddy Cat in the Hat will be here to bring you all a good bundle of fun. Oi! You fucking retard! You left the clock at the front door. Well, Charlie, you're the last child left. Isn't that exciting? I don't know. You're a very lucky little boy. You get to see what's behind that door. Now, Charlie, don't you want to see what's behind that door? I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. Follow me. Huh, caught you taking a peek there, Charlie. <laughs> That's all right. Nothing wrong with window shopping from time to time. It's when you get handsy. It's when you get yourself into some trouble. Come over here, Charlie. There's one last part of the factory I'd like to show you. Go ahead and taste the wall. Go on, try it. Well, what flavor do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Charlie, I'm just messing with you. There's no flavor on the wall. You like that rust pretty good, though. Don't worry. We'll get you a little tetanus shot before you leave. Where's my grandpa? Oh, he's just hanging around. Don't worry. You're in good hands. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I know a lot of celebrities, I guess. They like their finger around here in the factory from time to time. Hey, do you know who this is, Charlie? Uh, I don't know. That's the 42nd president of the United States, Bill Clinton. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Past presidents have a lot of connections, Charlie. A lot of connections. But so do I. You know, Charlie, your clothes look awfully filthy. I'm all for a little stink, but best to get you some clean clothes, you know, for later. Oh. Oh. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. You are a filthy boy, yes, that's true. Uh, uh, oh. You have soft hands and beautiful eyes. Take his measurements and be gone with you. He looks like a medium. Let's get him a small. Get it right. Get it tight. Be gone! Sorry about that, Charlie. That didn't make you feel uncomfortable, did it? Uh, I don't know. Gosh, Charlie, I, I gotta tell you, my back and shoulders are tight. <laughs> Running a factory sure does have its physical costs. Have you ever, uh... Had a massage, Charlie? I don't know. 
Your hands look very soft. <laughs> also strong. Very strong. You play much baseball? Uh, I don't know. Only a couple rooms down. Come on, big guy. Charlie, you wouldn't mind giving me a quick massage, would you, pal? I hate to be a stickler about the rules, but the golden ticket you have there states that I can ask for a free massage at any time. You look like you don't believe me. Go ahead and take a look. We've really bonded, Charlie. I'm excited to get to know you a whole lot better. Charlie, let's put those hands to good use. What do you say? There he is. Freeze, you didn't see anything. You hear me, you little shit? You didn't see a fucking thing. We didn't know what was going on here. We didn't know a fucking thing. Don't worry, son. You're safe now. He didn't hurt you, did he? I don't know. Charlie, my friend! I made it out of the Chocolate River, Charlie! Charlie! Oh, Jesus Christ! He's got a gun! It was... it was just some German kid. Damn! Uh, chocolate monsters, yeah! That's it! We don't want to tell anyone about what happened here today with the chocolate monsters. Right, Charlie? Well, I don't know. Hmm... <sighs> Get him out of here! Yes, Gaga. Let's see what's on the trending page today. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, the tea can be served. Hi, poor people. Welcome back to my channel. My publicity team has informed me that the best move to save my brand is to make another apology video. So I decided to sit down on my $50,000 Versace couch and pose like an Afghan hound in my multi-million dollar mansion. Yeah. Just like any other normal human being would. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeffrey, you are such a royal queen. Spill the tea, sister. All is forgiven. I'm here again to break my silence as a 56-year-old woman participating in YouTube drama. You might be saying, wow, Tati, you're just gonna cry on camera for an hour again. This is false. I am here with reason and with purpose to speak my truth. Oh my god, this queen is so brave. Spill the tea, girl. Spill it. Hey, guys. So as you know, I used to be a dirty, dirty, bad boy, gubby poop man. I would upload videos of me in blackface all the time. Let me be clear. They were super funny. I mean, downright hilarious, but however, the social political climate has changed and I will no longer be able to enter myself into the Neil deGrasse Tyson lookalike contest. Shane! I loved your old videos, and I think you were such a brave soul for this honest response. Yas. Why does makeup have to be so mean and poopy? Shane and Jeff are so mean to me. Shade is a racist, rapist piglet who deserves to be fucking dragged through the streets like the absolute hog goblin he is. Bye, sister. Cancel. Cancel! Cancel! Oh my god! So oh my god! Oh my god! Shane and Jeff are so oh my god! This is. Oh okay. my god! <laughs> you are so fucked! I'm not going to be a part of this drama because there are bigger problems in the world. Yeah. Like disease and black people. And by that I mean Black Lives Matter. Also, if you use black sales matter, you get a 20. Excuse me! What did they just say? I have to tweet about this. I have to tweet about this. Hey guys, I can't take this stress and drama anymore. I'm leaving the beauty community. After making millions of dollars off of one product, I now realize that I don't have to pretend to care about makeup anymore. <laughs> cancel! 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 Hi sisters! <laughs> James! <laughs> hi sisters! James, hi sisters! <laughs>
Why is everyone so much younger than me? Oh my god, praise the queen. Hi sisters, bye sisters. What an exciting day of tea and gossip. Yas, Gaga, yas. Cancel forever.